man, I wanna get this sick. pick up Sid Vish and my life is chaotic. Okay, I have on the same thing I had on yesterday because Q-Fancy has slept for one hour. One or two hours, okay? I had to wake up and take him to work at early o'clock in the morning. I went, I came home, I took a nap, then I woke up early because I went and got me a camera. <laughs> Q-Fancy bought our camera today. And I wanted to be there when they opened. So I'm not recording with it yet. I haven't even took it off the my house is chaotic. Oh, we've been sleeping down here because it's been too hot. It's been too hot to be productive in my life. <sighs> so I need to go and pick him up. I got so many things to do today. Today is my final day of filming for The Real Women of YouTube. And no, I didn't wait till the last minute, but it was something that I had planned that was supposed to happen a different day and then it couldn't happen until today. So I got to wrap up. I'm going to be busy today. So I ain't going to be vlogging all like that on here, up in here. People, you know, when I tell them to come on, they don't want to come on. So I got to be lugging, folks. Oh, I don't care. Because I said, come on, and he want to be grabbing things, calling it Elmo. That wasn't Elmo. That was a nasty dog toy. Yaka. I don't even know what to do with my new camera. I know I probably need to be charging it or something. Oh, I don't like to be rushing around, y'all. I told you that. I don't like to be rushing around. And you know, all of that. And now our, our hoop teeth is bouncing up and down. Like I got hydraulics. I guess I need shocks. Oh no. Oh, this is the worst hoop D, y'all. We had, you know, I still have you even if you things go wrong with your objects, you still have to be thankful and grateful that you have it because I could be rolling in a uh a, a four tento <laughs> walking, okay. Um so I am thankful for it. It is getting me from A to B and we are thankful for it. We just don't want to put no money in the seat. Our last hoop team, I always talk about it because I did love it because we pay eight at or we pay eight hundred dollars for it and we didn't really spend a dime. We got like a couple of oil changes and that was it. Um, but this one we need a little work. That's the thing with hoop because you you never know. You never know. Um Heading over to Starlicious Treats and Styles to get me a hairstyle. It's Starlicious Treats, Styles, and uh, makeup. <laughs> I need a, I need that done. Oh, I see somebody sexy. It's probably Civic. Let me see if it's him. Oh, my brakes. It is him. I saw a handsome and chocolatey guy coming out, and it was you. Oh. You just coming out? I've been out here. Baby, you that? didn't call. I did call you. When, how long have you been waiting? Since 12 o'clock. Baby, I checked the phone at 7-Eleven. It was just hot. I don't know if I want a slushy. I gotta see what flavors they got. I wanted the iced coffee, because... Oh, they got flavored iced coffee. Mocha. It's only 99 cents. Maybe I'll get that. Huh? These are the flavors. What flavors did you get that other time? You got that cherry limeade. Yuck. That's sugar free and light. That's why it was gross. Lemonade. That pizza look good though. Oh, those pepperonis. Get us a scratcher. Oh, girl just won five thousand dollars off a scratcher. We need to get us one. I wonder which one she played. I wonder how much she played though. 
Shout out to Man No Whale. Talking about if we, like, in another life, we came back, what we want to come back as. And I said, I want to come back as a fish. You know, some type of, like, either, like, a fish, a whale, or a shark or something. I want to come back as something that's totally different and live in somewhere totally different than, you know, I have. I want to live underneath water it seems like it's so peaceful and calm and all that no noise he just you know chilling and, you know it's something i can't do i can't swim like that now so i want to be there and then i said if i came back as a human which i wouldn't want to i would come back as a you know of course a guy because i want to do something totally different i would be a man and i would be an asian man like i want to be an asian man because then i would i would have great calves I'm gonna naturally be kicking ass, and um, you know I, I think that like Asian people are very like spiritual and like in tune with the universe and stuff like that. I would I would want to be I would just want to grow up in like a Asian culture, probably probably Chinese. That's what I would do, and I would be eating some good food. And see, they said that he would come back. As if he, well, he had to come back as a woman because he's a man now. He said he would be an Armenian woman. And he said he would be an Armenian woman because then everybody would naturally be on his nuts. What? <laughs> what? Oh, my baby. Mm -mm -mm. That's funny. Oh. Hey. 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 Hi. Are you waking up? Look at my baby's chocolate legs. His legs are chocolate. Hi. Hi. Look at her glasses. We never take the time to clean off our windows. Watch me ratchet, watch me ratchet. His hairstyle. I just like y'all to see the people that we see too, because we people watch. See the people. Her outfit. She really cleaning those windows. It don't look like they're dirty, but get it, get it, go, go, go. Wow. She doing a full thorough cleaning of the windshield. She didn't clean the window. It's going off a minute. She cleaning her whole everything. Wow, wow, yes. We should take the time and do that to our car. Now look at his boots. Look at his. What kind of work is he doing? She's still cleaning the windows, y'all. On that same one, she did two windows. A minute. Wow. Uh -uh. That's fake. Oh, Look at this couple. They argue. Look at this pasta. Y'all didn't see this before. What are you doing? That's mine. Talk about <coughs> panty lines, okay? Now, <clears throat> you fancy as team, no panty lines. And I believe that if you have, if you have a big juicy booty and you wear a thong, I think you still will be team, no panty lines. But sometimes when you wear a thong, you can still see that thong line. Now, I know thongs are not comfortable for everybody, so I think you need to either, you know, get used to it or go commando. And people will say, Ew, that's nasty. However, it is proven that 
draws, whether they're their cotton draws, satin draws, silky draws, or whatever, the moisture and all of that up in your musk can cause uh, bacteria to grow and infections and all of that. And they, they cause uh, a panty line. <laughs> Hi. Baby, what do you think about panty lines? Is that sexy though? No, I'm, I'm saying when you look at it, when you look at the ass and see it on there, how, what do you think? No, that girl we just saw had it. That girl that was walking in, the thin girl. And she had it on with her pants. Now, why do people, I don't know, maybe maybe people do, maybe y'all do it, I don't know. What do you do when you wear leggings? Are you going commando? Are you wearing the thong or are you just saying, and just wearing those briefs anyway, or the boy shorts so your panty line can show. Like, I, hey. I had the time, and I had to have, like, when I was pregnant, I had a panty line. I didn't, I didn't want to, it, it, it made me feel away and everything, but I had one, and I, and that was like my biggest pet peeve, like, the entire time that I was pregnant, because, you know, I didn't want to be ratchet and pregnant and wearing, um, you know, wearing a song. Cause it just was 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 uncomfortable. So you know, I was team panty lines when I was pregnant. I had big granny draws on and a line, and you know, and I wore leggings. But I tried to wear. I wore shirts that were long that covered up my ass so that y'all couldn't see the panty line. You know, maybe these things don't bother you. You know, whatever. But I just, I just be wondering if people see it when they turn around in the mirror. Like, do y'all, when y'all get dressed in the morning, do y'all always turn around and, and look at y'all ass? Or am I the only one that's obsessed with looking at my ass? <laughs> but I mean, when you see it on, on women, like, and they have on, on leggings, is it hot and steamy and sexy to you? Do you like it or do you, do you not care? Huh? Stay ass, you know, I know. Ass, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if they want to look like old ass, that's funny. Maybe now when you before, when you were a single guy and you saw the panty line, what did you think? You got wrong draws. <laughs> now, would you, would you get with a girl that had that? Did any of your previous girls have a panty line? Or you didn't pay attention or care? None of them ever had a panty line. You don't want to talk to me? They, they would have it sometimes? Now, would you, point, would you say something to them about the panty line when they had it? Or you just would just go with it? So, man, don't get... Another time I had a panty line and I wasn't pregnant and I was mad about it too. And but you know what I said? We had to go to um his family reunion. This is the family reunion last year. And I have this black dress and it's like a sundress and you know it's kind of see-through a little bit and I didn't know that it was like kind of see-through in the light. So I had to put on some like boy short type of drawers. And I felt like I had a panty line with, with that. Well, I did have a panty line with it. But it was either panty line or see my pure ass at the family reunion. You know, that wasn't going to happen in now. Y'all can say, well, you could have just put on a different dress. No, I wanted to wear that dress. I was putting on that dress because it was new at the time. And I and I wanted to wear it. So I had to. I had to. So his, his people, his family probably... Difficulties. When we come home, he does not want to go inside, and I have to fight with him to go in the house. Let's go in the house. Let's go eat. Let's go eat our pasta. He saw a dog. Go get Papa Dad. Go get Papa Dad. Okay, let's go. This is our food. 
They should could give a little more um, pasta. We stand you with the pasta. Yeah. Then I know you'll watch it. I'm chilling with my cousin here, Nerd Eye. He's a photographer. He just got home from the Army Reserves. We had babies a day apart. His son a is a day. <laughs> his son is a day younger than Saturn Q. So they have to play. This is my baby, baby cousin. We're like, are we third cousins or fourth? I think we're fourth cousins. Me, we fourth. We're fourth cousins. We had the same. My great grandmother. We said our great grandmother, his grandmother, and my great my grandmother and his great grandmother were sisters. <laughs> right. So tell them about you. Tell them how they can find you. Tell them. I mean, you want to look for me? You find me at Nerd Eye Photography on Instagram or Nerd Eye underscore Real. Just check out my photography. Check out my food. Look at some other Katie y'all parties. On the main, you know, I'm a little seated. Just love being on go to the gym. Well, yeah, he been working out. He been working out. I'm going to the gym right now. After this, but follow me. Keep watching the um six show, six show. It's very funny. YouTube followers and shout them out. Ah, uh, yes, I'm about to. Come. I'm gonna have to um taste one. He's making these new like cheesecakes in a jar. You gonna have to bring one over. We'll get one from you and taste it. And I'll taste it live. But what is this he didn't put up on the thing? <laughs> what? What? Mm. He downloaded. Right. Putting, putting stuff on my computer. See, I told you going to be a little computer jeans. Just got to wait for it. System, another victim. Prediction of them sick inflictions is numerous. The mission, everybody's body consuming us. It's humorous. Oh, oh, so serious. Got you curious. What you looking for? Everything you want, baby, here it is. In your ear, out the other. Tell your mama, tell your brother. You've now been in for 